but in this video we're gonna see on how to use your iPad or iPad Pro as an extended display with your MacBook right so make sure first step you have to follow is that you log in with the same Apple ID both in your MacBook and in your iPad so how to verify that go to the system settings here and on the top you should see you log in using your email address or phone number and this has to be the same login ID in the iPad as well once you have this you can close this and you go and click on this uh, on this options button on the top here and then click on the screen mirroring so here you should see your iPad if you don't see that uh, click on the display settings and in the display settings uh, you can click on this little drop down here and there you should see your iPad once you see that then um, you can add as an extended display so right now I don't have it I disconnected my iPad and this works everything via Wi-Fi or Bluetooth I don't know but it works magically without any uh, connection to your macbook and ipad there is no wire connection there it all works uh, just like that magically and you can even arrange those um, displays the way you want right now i've disconnected so i'm just trying to see how to connect it again uh, just give me a couple of minutes here i'm trying to figure out uh, i'm verifying if both the places i have the same account I just verified so sorry about this now let's go here and click on screen mirroring and uh, display settings I don't see that coming here I came to know that uh, the charging in the iPad has to be at least about 20% like it shouldn't be in the low power mode in that case you don't see this option of the iPad that is one thing to consider and another thing is that make sure you have the settings turned on on the iPad uh, in the settings in the general make sure you go into the airplay and handoff option in the airplay and handoff op option make sure you turn on the handoff um, handoff lets you start something on one device and instantly pick it up on another device using your iCloud account the app you need appears in the app switcher and the and in the dock on a Mac and also give access to cursor and keyboard if you are interested and uh, uh, so based on these uh, settings you will be able to get that extended display in your iPad and uh, after you enable those once you are on your uh, MacBook make sure um, you select mirror uh, screen mirroring use as a separate display so that it really acts like your separate display and you can also mirror the built in that um, remote iPad you can uh, on your screen you can arrange it in this way so that you know how multiple screens work arrange them and use those according this is really cool because i haven't connected my macbook with ipad with any with any wire so it's all remote and uh, it's all synced uh, with the network bluetooth and uh, I don't know uh, there are a lot of uh, things running behind the scenes so this acts as a remote extended display which is really cool um, feature of MacBook alright uh, if you have any questions uh, please put them in the comment and this is all for today thank you